peut être quelques mots sur sur le mali puisque c'est ce qui nous occupe aujourd'hui d'abord en anglais et puis je dirai un mot pour nos amis francophones so the security council will shortly be adopting an important draft resolution presented by france in order to establish a new sanctions regime concerning mali sorry i'm losing my voice maybe three comments or two comments on this issue first of all uh, this text follows a formal request from the malian government which recently came to the conclusion that the latest breaches in the implementation of the peace agreement seriously put at risk the fragile results uh, achieved so far so we've worked with the malians hand in hand during the negotiation of this text and of course they fully uh, support it first remark second remark uh, the idea of imposing uh, new of imposing sanctions on those who obstruct the peace agreement is not new it was actually mentioned in the peace uh, agreement and endorsed by the signatories but our assessment uh, is that now is the right time to move forward to give a boost to the implementation of the peace accord in Mali. So that's what this text is, is all about. Et en français, peut-être un mot pour dire donc, uh, d'une part, que nous, enfin, pour dire que nous allons uh, adopter dans quelques instants une importante résolution présentée par la France et qui établit un régime de sanctions spécifique sur uh, le Mali. L'adoption de ce texte fait suite à la saisine du Conseil par les autorités maliennes. C'est donc une demande explicite du gouvernement euh, malien qui est à l'origine de ces négociations et du texte que nous allons euh, adopter. Deuxièmement, pourquoi maintenant Parce que l'idée de la création de ce régime de sanctions vise précisément à donner un nouvel élan à la mise en œuvre de l'accord de paix au Mali et c'est notre priorité essentielle ainsi que celle bien sûr euh, du gouvernement euh, malien. Il s'agit donc d'adresser tout d'abord un message politique très fort aux acteurs euh, concernés puisque comme je vous le rappelle aujourd'hui nous allons créer euh, un régime euh, de sanctions sans y attacher à ce stade de liste de personnes ou d'entités mises sous sanction. C'est donc la première étape qui est la création de ce régime de sanctions et qui sera si nécessaire, bien sûr, suivi d'autres en termes de liste de personnes ou d'entités. Aujourd'hui, aujourd nous sommes dans l'étape du message politique fort que nous adressons encore une fois au parti, euh, au parti malien. Can you talk about what you just said about creating this new sanctions regime in English? Of, of course, if, if you so wish. Never say no to edit. Thank you. Uh, so, we know the sensitivity of sanctions and we uh, made sure to move forward, I would say, in a gradual manner on this issue, progressive. So what we have today is a political message to all the uh, actors on the ground, which is that there will be serious consequences if they do not abide by their commitments. We keep the, op the option of adding individual designations to the regime open, if need be, but as a second step. For now, it's about creating a, a sanctions regime. And we, of course, know that sanctions only will not bring peace and stability to uh, Mali, not alone. They are part of a comprehensive strategy, again, to give a boost to the, to the political process there. So what's, that's what this text is all about. And I believe it's an important step forward. Ambassador, about Ambassador, 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 Myanmar, about the Myanmar Ambassador, Ambassador yes. since last week's, week, uh, uh, last week, uh, week's meeting, the situation has been escalating even further. Um, what do you think the Council should do with regard to Myanmar? I believe uh, I was not there because I was in, in Paris for the Ambassador's Conference, but I believe the meeting that took place on uh, this issue uh, a few days ago is already uh, an important thing for the Security Council to watch the worrying situation there. North Ambassador, Korea, North Korea, Korea, do you think the Security Council will be able to agree by Monday on a sanctions resolution? It seems awfully quick. Uh, on North Korea, <laughs> uh, maybe two things. First of all, 
uh, we believe the meeting yesterday uh, demonstrated that we are united against what I call the global, immediate, and uh, existential threat that is now uh, North Korea, and we think it's something important. Number two, now we'll be moving forward. Uh, nobody, and I'm sure you uh, watched very carefully the debate, nobody uh, yesterday opposed new sanctions. So we believe that there is clearly some space, some political space, to move forward and to move forward fast. Uh, and everyone agrees, I believe, that we can't waste time uh, because it is not the time to talk, but the time to act, confronted with the existential threat I was referring to. So you think do, the do Russians are on board? You think the Russians are on board? Because uh, Nebenzia said yesterday sanctions alone won't solve the problem, and Putin and has Putin also been very strong on it. Um, okay, on I, I, I give you my assessment that a negotiation is a negotiation. Until it's over, it's not, of course. But I believe there is a a good spirit around the table, a uh, common assessment of the threat, which is the starting point and a very important point, actually. Ambassador, do you and think no opposition to the sanctions. Have, uh, elements on the diplomatic track that there should be, the Russians say they want to see um, venues for diplomatic talks with North Korea. Should that be in the resolution? A negotiation is a negotiation. So Does, until it's Burundi? over, it's Burundi? not. Do sanctions work on North Korea? There's a panel on the I'm, I'm super late. Sorry, I'm very late. Sorry.